In 2006, a programmer named Jed McCaleb had a dream of creating an online trading platform for a fancy card game. He called it Mt. Gox. Three years later, McCaleb wrote an article about Bitcoin and realized that his platform could become the main Bitcoin exchange. But he needed someone. Someone better able to take the site to the next level. That man was Mark Karpeles, who became the CEO of Mt. Gox. In 2011, Mt. Gox suffered a major setback when it was hacked and nearly $9 million worth of Bitcoin was stolen. We had weakness in our system, and our Bitcoin vanished. Despite this, Mt. Gox became the leading Bitcoin exchange, handling 70% of all Bitcoin transactions. On February 24, 2014, things got rocky behind the scenes and suddenly Mt. Gox stopped all trading and went offline. $473 million worth of Bitcoin had been stolen from Mt. Gox users. The exchange was now insolvent and unable to reimburse its creditors. On February 28th, it went bankrupt. So how was such a heist possible? Mt. Gox claimed that its money was stolen from a leak in its hot wallets where Bitcoin was stored. And the best part was, no one knew who did it. Was it a genius hacker or was it Carpellis himself? Some people even thought that Mark was using bots to cover up a hack that happened years ago. In August 2015, he was arrested by Japanese authorities and charged with embezzlement and data manipulation. So the moral of the story is, don't keep your crypto on exchanges, keep it safe and secure in your own cold wallet, or else you might end up like Mt. Gox users who are still waiting for their lost bitcoins since 2014.